This week, my dear friends, you're very welcome again. And there's something I'd like to share with you this week, and that is the whole area of um, prayer. I've been learning to pray again this uh, Lent. And so what I, the first question I'd like to begin with is, do you pray? Um, um, and, and if you do, what kind of prayer do you do? You pray as you can and not as you can't. But think about the kind of prayer that you do. Is it the prayer that you learned as a child going to school? Or have you come to some kind of maturity in your prayer? Because if you were talking to your mother and father, just like you were when you were a child, they, they would quickly tell you, grow up. Now, so what we want to do this morning is to talk and think about prayer. In order to help us to pray, I have found the whole business of awareness very helpful. Being aware of uh, who you are, being aware of um, your local area, the society in which you live, being aware of the lovely birds in the sky, the flowers, the trees, the grass, the buds coming uh, to fruition at the moment, and uh, the lovely people that are around you, the people who smile at you with their eyes. I noticed that people can smile with their eyes behind uh, their masks. Uh, very often we don't see people's the, the, their faces now, but we see their eyes. And it's a lovely experience to see people's eyes. I want to read a little bit from St. Matthew's Gospel, where Jesus was very much aware of uh, what was going on around him. And he says, consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like one of these. So obviously Jesus had uh, been very much aware of his local uh, area, his local um, fauna, the local flowers, the local uh, vegetation. And he brought that to his prayer life. Um, and I, I would like you to do that this uh, Lent, to grow in your prayer and to talk to God about what's going on with you. He loves to listen. He loves to be with you. He loves to answer your call. So just place your thoughts and your, your concerns in his care, particularly during this time of lockdown. I'd like to finish this morning with a little um, quote from a, um, a poem written by Joseph Mary Plunkett. He is an Irish poet who died in 1916. But this was him who was also very much aware of what was going on around him. And this is the way he put it. I see his blood upon the rose and in the stars the glory of his eyes. His body gleams amid eternal snows. His tears fall from the skies. So it's all happening around us. And what we're called to do is to receive that gift from God and just say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Make me gracious. Make me loving. And make me thankful for what you give us. Amen.